This episode is brought to you by Leo Bato and Associates, ang realtor na pato. When buying or selling your home, call Leo Bato. He has years of experience in real estate, showing honesty and integrity in every transaction. He's a person you can definitely trust. So book your appointment with Leo Bato today by giving him a call at 818-648-4837 or by visiting him on the web at www.leobato.realtor. This episode is brought to you by ABBA E-Services. And the podcast will begin in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. <laughs> so we get it in, huh? How about a big round of applause? Woof! Hemora! Since uh, day of taping is Cinco de Mayo 2022. Happy Cinco de Mayo. Happy Cinco de Mayo. Cinco de Mayo. Oh, oh my gosh. How are you? I'm good, man. Nakakamiss ka talaga. <laughs> Ikaw din, man. I mean, kahit iba tayo ng ginagawa, you know, the fact is, alam natin that we are doing things that we want to do. Yeah, exactly. Congratulations on your podcast na ngayon. May video na kompleto na. Yeah, thank you, man. More than mag, mag, mag 11 years na. Well, uh, as a podcast, only approaching two. As a radio show. As a radio show. 11. 11 years. Yeah, yeah. Kita mo, yeah. I know. Established 2010. Mm. I, di ba? Tapos ang maganda rito, yung, yung, yung consistency. Let's talk about the consistency. Dahil mm-hmm. importante yun. Kasi... Lahat ng mga guests na, na nagpupunta rito ang sinasabi nila, yeah, you just, you just have to do it. And ang daming taong nag-give up mm-hmm. because kailangan nila ng validation sa ibang tao, mga ganon. But 10 years, Wolf, 10 years, whether may nakikinig o walang nakikinig, yeah. as in, as in, nakwento mo sa dating episode na ginagawa mo na yung playlist midweek para may mailabas ka pagdating ng the weekend. The weekend, yeah. Let's talk about that consistency. Well, the consistency just comes from the passion of of the of the music mm. that I play. Or oh, and and with the podcast now, um, you know my my curiosity of people's lives, people's stories. You Shut know, up, no? yeah. It's it it. I am very curious in that way. I somehow developed that as I got older. You know. I wanted to go deeper into a person that I am interested in, right? Because I li- I like watching interviews anyway. Yeah, you know I like learning about people who I admire, what what makes them tick, you know how what they think, how they think. So, I I I I, I just decided to do it myself. But with the with the the DJing when I started when I first started, it was because. I remember I had just come back from uh, uh, the Philippines. Right. Well, I had it just come back, but I came back and then. Uh, so it was like six years before I I came back to the Philippines. So six years had passed. A lot's changed back then since I left. And <clears throat> when I, while while I was there, NU one hundred seven they closed down, and it was the only rock station left in the Philippines. Right. And when they closed down, there was nothing left of rock, any kind of rock music if, um, at that time. So I'm like, I mean, the people who are not going to experience that, having no radio station, when you turn on the radio, and of course, at, at that time, it streaming wasn't as it mm. is now. Yes. When streaming is everywhere. Right. Back at that that moment, maybe I think 2007 or 2006. Limited there, no? It was still radio. Yeah. You know? And streaming was not even in anyone's mind, you know? So when I came back here to the States, I was like, hey I mean, I got to do something to fill that void of there's no rock radio in the Philippines, but there's an internet. So I can... What I thought was, and I, I was always um, a frustrated DJ. I always, I always wanted to be a DJ because when we were growing up in high school, oh. <laughs> that's all we listened to in the yeah, radio and yeah. the DJ. And the, the, the Joe Mike Lord talk, the Gaucho. Yeah, Jaime, Jaime. Si Jaime. 
Lawn talk. Yeah, and and like this, the the, <coughs> the DJs of uh, 99.5 or right. and all of that, and they're really good. You know, they they have really good American accents. Yeah. You know, at that time, you you needed an American accent. You know, and um, so I, I I admired that, and I wanted to do it myself. And then at that time, the 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 technology was starting this all of this technology it was starting at that time it was like the basics uh, the basic or the 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 first uh, models of whatever equipment we, we do now, now yeah. the po- podcast equipment you know so and there were there were the, the even they even still called it blogs at the time okay that i uploaded an episode on a blog site blog spot pangay oh, 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 oh remember blog yeah. spot so that was so yung yung isang episode mo is one mp3 yeah one big mp3 you know so i did that for for the longest time because to fill that void of there's no rock radio in the philippines okay i'll stop you there huh? mm-hmm. because a lot of people can plan madali magplano eh mm-hmm. gaano katagal inabot yung and 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 you're not a techie guy per se no not kumbaga yeah. ikaw yung ikaw, you're you're more analog than digital. Eh. That's that's how I perceive you, right? Yeah. But you had you had this passion, you had this fire inside. So from from thought implementation or from no 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 from thought conception, how long did it take? Bagulum abas your first episode. Oh, I don't rem- really remember, but it wasn't long. I was very motivated to do it because. No one was doing it for the Philippines, right? I I would I got inspired by people who were doing it here already. You know, like the the radio stations they yeah. were already starting to stream their shows on a website, not not an app. There were no apps like you know every radio station has yeah. their own app now, now right? Yeah, and you can listen to any ra- radio station in the world. Yeah, imagine that. Well, I Heart Radio, na. yeah, oh. all over the world, you know, and um. And uh, at that time, so it was all just websites. So I got inspired by that and go, I'll do that Philippine style. What what is missing now in the Philippines? I'll try to fill that void. And of course, you know, it's just a limited audience that I can pull yeah. if you don't have any commercials or whatever, right? So whoever whoever I pulled in, they responded in a positive way. It was like, okay, cool, you know. And I was I was. I was putting music that people knew already, but I would put new music from here. So yeah, halu halu mulahat yon. Yeah, it's like you give them the, you know, the familiar stuff. You know, that's good. And then I would sneak in these like when the uh, the Black Keys when they first came out, their first album. I mean, their second their second album, but their first major label album. I got it as soon as it came out. And I played it, and that sound was bago sa kanila. Bago, yeah. bago to the world. You know, it's blues, pero dalawa lang sila, walang bass. You know, very analog sounding. That was the first of its kind. Uh, that and like the White Stripes, right? Ganon. And um, so I would play that kind of music. You know, that would that I would assume that it would not reach there. Especially if there's no radio station to play to play this kind of music yeah. that is released here on a normal basis, because this is America, right? everything yeah. is here. You can get anything you want here. So I wanted to be of of that kind of a service to keep people okay. This is what's happening in the states. This is music coming out now, you know, and it's it's just the excitement of me making a mixtape for you. Or it's parang ganun lang ang dating, yeah. Ang dating. And that's it's like it's like when you when you back in the day when you like a girl you make a mixtape yes. or a CD yes. you mix, you know. You know the feeling of that passion or, or the motivation when you do that. You're like really thinking of the sequence and what songs yeah. this person is you're assuming might might like. Yeah. You know, and that's the that's the and that's the one that drives the that drives you that that anticipation is this person gonna like this song or not because I really like the song and I think that a lot of people are gonna like the song too. 
Right. Ganun. That's that 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 was my motivation is to really to connect people back in the Philippines or whoever because it was on the internet anyone can access it to the music that I like that I discover going to Tower Records and going through you know the racks like that that's how you discover music in at that time now you just go through your phone and uh-huh. like oh, that oh yeah. ito natin to but at that time you go to Tower Records now would you, you do it like that. would you do it every week or would you sandbag 10 episodes para at least naka ready ka na. Oh yeah, I'm always every week. I I don't I don't compile uh-huh. because it has to be at the, in the moment. You know. And I want it fresh because I do some commentary too. So if if the commentary is like three weeks old, oh nga. Yeah, it's stale Pero, already. You can so same consistency. Cuz 52 weeks in a year. Yeah. 52 episodes yun in a year. Yeah. So may get 500 episodes na ngayon yun. Well, to Miguel ba? Yeah, to Miguel for a while. Um, and then I started up again. I, I don't really know. I mean, it's still online. I yeah, can it still is. access yeah. it, but but um, I just stopped doing it because the way people listen to music nowadays, me included, I don't really. I would rather listen to a podcast than the live radio. Bakit nga? I don't know, man. It's Kasi ako rin ganun eh. Yeah, but I used to, but the thing is I used to love listening to the radio, to the right. DJ on the radio. But I guess with a podcast with something like this what we're doing, you get more. Yeah. It's like the DJ times 1000, you know. Ako naman ang naiisip ko. <laughs> parang parang nagbabasa ka ng album sleeve. Mhm. Yeah. Di ba? Yeah. Minsan yun ay, alam mo, alam mo, ngayon ko lang naisip pa, ito, ito, as in right now, ngayon ko lang naisip, wouldn't it be nice for a band, instead of putting out 10 songs, let them put out a podcast na nakasplice mm. para pinag-uusapan nila bawat kanta. That's cool. Or, yeah, when you release the album, diba? that's how you release it. I, I think, sino magumawa na? May gumawa na nun eh. Uh, didn't, didn't Maroon 5 do that or something na meron silang Ay, hindi. Yung JJ, sinong ba na yung na, uh, ang kumanta ng, ng Shut Up and Dance? Walk the Moon. Walk the Moon came, mm. out, came up with an album and then came up with a commentary for the album. Nice. On Spotify. That's a good idea. Di ba? Yeah. Especially Espe- tayo mga indie, mga gano, gano. Especially if the band members like to talk. Yes. Because there's some people that don't like to talk. So, you know, I'm, it I'm depends. Sure may, parang, parang tayong dalawa. Yeah, dito, yeah, yeah. Gano. So imagine if the whole band was like us, that right. likes to express yourself, you know. Oh my God. <laughs> okay. Now, speaking of expressing yourself, now it's a, hindi, na, hindi, na, hindi lang siya radio show. So, hindi, la, hindi na siya WDRS. You pa rin may title or may podcast? Yeah. Well, the podcast is WDRS Talk. Talk. Yeah. So finally, and, like pivot. And then, into, and then when the and when there's videos, it's WDRS live, because the person is live. Yeah. The, there's it's right you know like this. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yes. So it's like you know it's just me. Ah, excite. It's just me being free and creative. Right. It's like I just don't want it to be WDRS. There's the 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 talk, which is the audio. Right. And then the live, which is the video. You know, because that's where I am now. Because we, uh, we talked about it earlier, some of my guests they they request not to do a video. Yeah. So I have no choice. You know, and of oh, course yeah. I have to respect their their wishes. You know. And um. And but when I do get a chance, if I have a chance to have a situation where I can videotape it, yeah, then I go for it. You know. Now, and do do, do you find yourself? Having to shuffle between the radio show, the talk, and the live portions of what you do? Well, the radio show, the music is, I don't do that anymore because um, I said earlier, people's, um, I didn't finish that thought a while ago. <laughs> uh, people's listening habits have changed, in my mm-hmm. ours included, you know. So I, I actually felt the audience just start to dwindle and dwindle and dwindle and, 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 at the same time, my attention span 
for a radio show listening uh-huh. to a whole hour of continuous you know with <laughs> with a dj no one no one did that anymore and i i felt it and i knew it it's like then then i was like i realized it's like wait a minute no one's doing this anymore except the people on the radio yeah i'm not on the radio so people are not gonna sp- you know they're not spending that much time to listen to the show anymore so it just it just gradually internet radio are you for it against it like if if let's say wdrs was a radio show mm-hmm. four hours a day like like how a dj would would have a program diba? yeah pero wa hindi talaga terrestrial kundi sa internet talaga siya nabubuhay oh, well i mean there's still people who do that you know um like i said every radio station has an app right and you can listen to the the actual live mm. on the app pero wala ka sa terrestrial so te- technically cable radio and right yeah, yeah 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 it's not radio waves yeah. you know yes. it's not on the air yes yeah if someone offered you something like that would you do it on the air no on a cable cable radio parang yun. yeah of course yeah i mean it's fun for me so it's not it's not going to be work right my motivation is like i get to play anything i want you know and uh, and and that's what i like doing so speaking of playing like the drums ka pa rin hanggang ngayon tuloy pa rin yung the melodies yeah tuloy yes where we are actually in the studio recording in this really nice studio in uh, silver lake that um our new friend angelo and uh really good guy and really generous with yeah. with giving us access to the studio very i know very big supporter of the melody sion si angelo yeah he he's a he's a big supporter and he and and he's a true supporter because yeah he gave us this you know <laughs> it's like you know it's it's uh, it's a real blessing and and we're we're really motivated melody songs are really good and um i have fun uh rearranging them rearranging them imagining it recorded you know and of course robin is a great guitar player iba no oh yeah i mean he he really adds a different dimension to, yes. to the music of melody because melody is the this the main songwriter yeah. you know? and i see myself as like an arranger you know to to cuz her music is so raw and it's like straight from the oven mm. and it's it's already good when it comes out of the oven all i have to do is put some raisins on top right that's my that's my what i what i feel my job is to to just add some raisins here and there <laughs> and then robin he put he has the icing on the on the, on the cinnamon roll you know you know ito ito ha ito sa mga sa mga taong first time ka pa lang nila mapapanood rito sa Pacos Place no mm. ano ko na pag-usapan na natin to pero daanan natin ulit na top board mo na eh na top board mo na yung mga gusto mo ma-achieve sa buhay mo eh. you were you were there already mm-hmm. right now nandito ka sa states and then the melodies came along and ang daming potential ng melodies do you find yourself telling yourself na shoot back to square one na naman ako or no not yan. this time okay i want to hear that not this time because this time it's all about it's all about the art i'm not and i had this conversation with with melody we we had a like a songwriting session like it's all about ago. the art the sharap no no yeah because that was in my heart. I didn't tell her anything, and but we got to talking after you know after rehearsal, and she had said the same thing. It's like you know, uh, we're in our fifties. Yeah. We're start. We're starting our fifties. Yeah. You know, for us to think that we're going to compete with Olivia Rodrigo, that's that's fucking. Uh, you have to be really lucky. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yes. What you have to be is realistic. And we were both being real, re- realistic at that moment. So we were like, okay, yeah, I mean, that's how I feel. It's like, let's do the best fucking recordings that we can do. Pala na si Batman after. So, ang sarap, so yun, nung pinag-usapan niyo yun, 
when you get when when in your head ang naging subtext mo was it's all about the art mm-hmm. did it did, did, did it release you from any pressure oh fuck yeah okay it's like no pressure at all now the pressure is on ourselves to fucking make the best music that we can this episode is brought to you by Leo Bato and Associates ang real tour na pato and not just the music but the recording Katuwa, no? Yeah. I mean, I find myself very fortunate that... Ang galing pa ni Melody. Come on. You know. Diba? I'm, I'm lucky to be with Melody and with Robin because they have their talents yes. as individuals are amazing and they're the kinds of artists that like to share their talents. They're not like, you know, sa akin lang to. You know? Mm, it's like, true. no... What it, it's like my my motto is as has always been the music is the master the song that you're trying to write that's the master you are not the master you're the you're the conduit you're the antenna that's how I think about music art it's all you want me to get really heavy yeah, <laughs> yeah. this is how I think but <laughs> This is, a, this is my thing uh, with the Big Bang. Okay, we're going to the Big Bang. The moment that everything happened. everything yeah. everything started. came out. Yeah. Everything came out. Whether you believe it's by God or it's by atoms, like that, whatever. But for me, when all of everything got made, all in in my consciousness as a, as a human, and I'm like we believe in aliens, right? So there's other for us there are other people out there and they have their own experience of all of this energy in their own worlds whatever universes multiverses so when the big bang big bang happened all everything art music um uh, uh inventions everything was put out into the we're gonna jane. 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 yeah boom it's not it's not in solid form. So essence. The essence, the, the, the energy. Yeah. It's there. Stairway to Heaven was there already. The uh-huh. Big Bang pa lang. Boom. That, that oh, song. May kweto ako dyan. Tuloy mo yan. May yeah. kweto ako sa'yo. So, so that, that song was there already in the atmosphere. In, in the energy of whatever. And it had to take Jimmy Page, Robert Plant, John Bonham, and John Paul Jones to harness, to get that energy from the ether yeah. and make it reality and make it fucking stairway to heaven that's how I think that's how I think everything is the Mona Lisa it was there in the Big Bang it, but it had to take Michelangelo to to pull it out to pull it out from the from the ether yeah. it's like like the like the Harry Potter and the Fantastic Beast movies when they extract like things with the magic wonders that 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 thing it's like that it's like a magic wand how about this yung tel- yung yung may ano yung Jay pakitingin nga kung ano yung bagong telescope na nilaunch nila uh, the James uh, something telescope hmm. okay nila, ka, nilaunch lang nila yan as of this taping mga wala pang one year na huh? James Webb James Webb, Ay, James so, Webb telescope, telescope? Mm-hmm. Alam mo, anong, anong gagawin ng James Webb Telescope? Yung sinabi mo, sa ganito yan. Mm. Where is it? It's it's in space now. Oh, wow. It's a satellite. It's a thing. Pero nakatutok sa ano? Sa labas ng galaxy natin. Right, right. Okay. okay. Ang light travels at a speed of something-something million per second, di ba? Speed of light, mm-hmm. di ba? Anak ko pa ang nagsabi, my 14-year-old son, Kaylin, brought it to my attention. Sabi niya, $10 ang ano, ang James Webb, $10 billion. Si Stephen Hawking wanted to see that thing up in the air. Wow. Okay, ang gagawin, imagine mo, sa mga tao na may James Webb telescope sa ibang galaxy, ngayon pa lang nila nakikita ang mga dinosaurs. Oh, yan. Sige. What do you mean? Exactly. Wait, 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 wait. 
Who, so, who's, who's seeing the dinosaurs? Yung mga ibang uh, terrestrial beings uh. sa ibang galaxy, if they had one of the James Webb telescope, they're only seeing the dinosaurs pa lang now, in be- their time. Because tandaan mo to, a in star, their distance pala. Yeah, because a yeah. star could, ha- could be dead, right? Right. Pero yung ilaw nun, magtatravel yeah, yeah. pa sa atin. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, yeah. Millions of years later, or hundreds of years, or thousands of years later, right. pa natin madidiscover yung planet, right. yeah. nawala na ron. So, yeah. maaaring sa, so yun ang, yun ang gagawin ng James Webb, to see what was in the past. Oh, wow, pare. That's cool, man. Diba? So, Because time is relative. Relative. <laughs> oh, <laughs> pare. Kaya nga, kaya nga doon sa sinasabi mo na, again, eh, wag na natin papuntahin sa stairway to heaven like mm. itong table itong table na to anything essence before existence yeah, eh, di ba? anything it's like and and let's say let's say like you and I'm not even just saying stairway to heaven because it's a really cool right, song right, right. one of the most anything pop, anything par Gangnam style yeah. was already there it just had to take that particular mm. Korean man mm. to pluck it out of the fucking sa kanya po sa kanya dumaan yep dahil sa kanya yeah dahil sa kanya nagkaroon ng attention ng mundo sa uh, South Korea, Korea pare yeah he's ngayon, the one ngayon nandiyan na mga BTS mga ganyan ganyan he started all of that yep. pare because because somehow in his life he opened himself up to that fucking idea and then when you because I think that's how we get ideas is that when that that, yeah. that energies Is, is looking for someone to fucking accept Can do it. There's this, yeah, Ivo. Can do it. Can do it lang tayo. That, that particular wavelength is just looking for something to connect with. Oh, itong tanong. You know. Sa tingin mo, chance. Or by design. Well, I think the concept is by design, but the chance is like, because it's ah. just looking. Eh. It could be anyone. Because maybe I have this, someone with the same energy as me could be living in True. In South Africa. Yeah. So if that energy is in South Africa, it's going to find that person, not me. You know what I mean? But the concept is, pero I think, Jay, by design, man. Yeah, the concept is by design. Yeah. Pero, pero yung sinasabi ni Wolf is that energy will find a specific person. So pag sinabi mong ganon. Whatever that, that energy is compatible with. It's looking for something eh, yeah. compatible. Ganun lang yun. Para router lang, pahikot i- yeah. yung So it's like so it's like if we put it in our in our own terms like Wolfgang Rich or uh, Wolfgang <laughs> Intervoice all that music that the four of us produced yeah. together that's why when it, when pag wala na yung apat na yun wala na rin yung music wala na yung music na yun it iiba it, I'm not saying it's going to be bad or good or worse or better yeah, totoo, but it's going to be different I agree Because it's a different person, different energy. I agree. Dahil nung tinang- Jobert <gasps> is the lousiest member of Intro Voice. <laughs> okay. And I say that with love. Okay. Lagi siyang nagkakamali. Lagi siyang sumasabit. Lagi kami nag-aaway. <laughs> But he's coming back. Okay. Because napatunayan na namin na it's not about his playing style. Pero to your point, tama ang sinabi mo. Mm. Yung kombinasyon namin lima mm-hmm. ang nagbigay ng mga hit songs na yon. Because when he left, walang hit songs na lumabas from Intro Voice. Di ba? That's it, man. It's the, it's the energy. That's, yeah, they, that's why they call it energy. Uh, chemistry. Yeah. And, and energy na rin, guys. Because tama, maybe yung gigil namin sa kanya, yung inis namin sa kanya, is what made us want yeah, to... Yeah, it doesn't have to be pleasant. It just has mm. to be compatible. Like, you yeah. know, it, you know, sometimes there is static, but that's already... Given yun eh. But that's already something else, I would say. Na it's not just, it's not the energy. It's something different. You know, it's like the, the, the other side of your... It's like the energy that... Uh, your artistic energy. Maybe right, it's something right, else. Right. Synergy na siguro yun. Yeah, but I mean, what I mean is maybe something else in the in your aura ah. is not compatible with him. Mm. So that's why maybe there's friction there. Right. But it's not the but the music energy. Yeah. That's where you're like. Because. Ganon kayo pare. Actually, magkinten di nga, magkibigan kami talaga pero 
Pero ayaw namin siya kasama dahil nabibitin kami pag tumutugtog kami. And kaya okay. if he's watching, tatawa yun. Because now at our age, we all get it. Yeah. And so nasa Pilipinas si Jobert, right? So kaming apat ang tumutugtog sa States. Pero kumikita si Jobert kahit nasa Pilipinas. <laughs> well. So sinasabi niya, and, and yung mga picture namin kaming lima palagi. Mm-hmm. Sabi niya, kailan ako tutugtog? Okay ka na dyan. Basta ang, tra- ang trabaho mo, you have to stay alive. Oh Kasi pag God. namatay ka, hindi na tayo kompleto. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The energy is not there. Uh-huh. Sabi yeah, so na. yeah. So I mean, that's how I looked at it when, because I, the, the feeling that I had when Wolfgang, when we started writing music, and it was like, we okay to. Ah, ganito rin to. Sa ngayon. No, I mean, in all the bands that I've been, I've been fortunate that I always was compatible yeah. with my band members, and is and even now in right. melodies. Um, but in Wolfgang, it was like, it was amazing. I mean, when I look back, it's five albums worth of music, and I'm like, what the hell, buddy? What the hell did I do? It was not. It wasn't hard. It wasn't hard, man. When I look back, it wasn't. I don't remember slaving and struggling to write this music. It wasn't hard, you know. It just came out with yeah. these three other guys. Yeah. So and 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 before those four guys got formed, the one guy was. There were three guys before the one guy. Right. There were three bass players before Mon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So and when Mon came in, the energy and Mon, like I said before, he was a total stranger. Oh nga, hindi nga kayo magkibigan yeah. muna. He's older eh. He's older, like three years older than I was. So we mong batch, you know, when you're and when you're that age, that age gap is still big. Yeah. When you're when you're young, you know, diba. So but the energy is just fit like a glove. So there was no it was always cooperations, like, oh, that's cool, man. especially the the Correct. guitarist, you know, Manuel and uh, Mon. Oh, that's cool, I'll follow you there. Okay, don't do that. It's too much. <laughs> Pero walang away. It was easy. There was no arguments about the music, man. It, you know, so... It's so like, ngayon, ganun, ganun din ngayon kayong dalawa ni Melody, si, si Robin. Si Robin ba nag, do, <coughs> nag, nagbibigay ng mga kanta niya sa... Yeah, he has one song that he gave to us. It's really cool, man. And um, we just tweaked it a bit and then Melody put uh, vocals and lyrics on yeah. it. So yeah, it's... it's uh, it's all the three people it, and, and the thing is it's it's uh it's very unconventional because like i said melody has a family i'm older than we're ma- we're a little older than robin actually <laughs> alam mo ang ang edad ni melody she's 4 years younger than us eh mm-hmm. tapos si robin naman is yeah. mga 10 years younger than 12 12 yeah than us so Ayon. you know he 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 has his own thing so and we have yeah. our own thing but somehow so ano feeling you know, na the music's working <laughs> anong feeling na ikaw ang pinakamatanda ngayon sa banda <laughs> doesn't matter man but but do you see yourself as more like mentor kasi dati nung Wolfgang no. pare-pareho lang kayo eh no I think it's still pare I'm always a team player man I would if I'm gonna mentor someone it would be another band Ah, but not my not not I don't. Mates. I can't. I can't be a band member, a, a band mate of someone that I have to nurture. That's explain that's that. Weird. I'll let me explain that to me because the, I find myself nurturing my band, and it's exhausting. Well, yeah, it's, of course it's exhausting, but you're because parang you're doing a lot of things, right? Yeah. Tapos nag nagakapasahero ka, alam mo yon. Mm-hmm. And uh, yun, yun. So, paano mo dinodraw yung line? Kasi, again, I set up ko lang yung tanong para yeah. sa mga tao. Pareho tayong may band leader mindset. Eh. We, we, we know that we can stir, steer the band to a better direction. Eh. Right. But we have to get everyone involved. Yeah. And minsan, pag ayos sumunod, sige, ako na lang, para lang, dito tayo pagpunta and all that. Yeah. So, doon, nabibiktima ako. Yeah. I find myself nurturing the bandmates. Yeah, yeah. Just so that we could get to point B. Right. Ikaw mo kang, do you do that? Or, pag ayaw nyo, fine, let's stay here. Ganun yung attitude. No, 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 no. My, at- no, 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 no. My attitude is really, 
uh, excuse me like what i said is that the song is the master mm. so we the song is the one who's going to point the direction the song is the compass not me i can only do so much because i i'm not good at writing melodies yeah so si melody ng magaling diyan so yes. siya gagawa noon yeah ako i can say that i'm a good arranger right that's what i used to do in wolfgang i would be like hey, maybe you can do this and do that there you know shuffle things around and let my Im- imagination yeah flow you know but i visualize mo i can visualize yeah. that that i that i can really do it's like i can visualize the song and uh, and then melody has the raw thing and then robin has his way of just enhancing uh-huh, diba? and out of nowhere it's like wow that's cool man <laughs> and then the but problem with robin is he doesn't remember the things that, he does because it's time? so not mm, natural, natural for him i'm like do it again it's like do what do, yeah <laughs> <laughs> i'm like what <laughs> Do what? Next, you don't remember what you just did? Namin lahat yun. Yeah. I'm like, shit, that was really good. You don't remember? Uh, it's like, oh, I'm going to try. Then wala na. It's like, never, so, so, never, so, yeah. so that's what I mean. Robin is a conduit in that sense yeah. where it's just boom, boom, boom. Yeah. Meron kaming, ano, meron kaming song na ginawa ni na Robin. Ang problema namin ni JJ nung minimix na namin. Hindi namin alam ko anong imimix namin. Because everything was the same sa unang pasada at saka sa safety, ang iba lang yung paggitara ni Robin. Mm-hmm. And parehong maganda. Yeah. And ang hirap-hirap ano magagamitin natin dito and all that. Yeah. So, okay. So the song is the master. Ang sinasabi ka pagdating ng logistics, pagdating ng pag-abante ng banda. Mm. Well, I would say in this band, I'm, Well, <laughs> in 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 back back then in Three Hundred Dog and Locomotive, um, or oh, you were people you, people. Ikaw, the, ikaw drive. Yeah, man. I was. Yeah, people would look to me. You yeah. mag drive. Yeah, you know. <laughs> you know yeah, that's exhausting. It is. Yeah, I know. Uh-huh. Yeah, no, I know what you're talking about. It is exhausting. That's why I did. That's why from Three Hundred Dog to Melodies, it's yeah. like I wanna go in top. So, turuan mo kami because. Like ako, and I'm pretty sure may mga nakikinig dyan na burnout ang mangyayari dyan eh. And there was a time na ayaw mo na nga tumugtog eh. Yeah, burnout diba? talaga. It's because you're in this in this market in in, in in America, specifically in Los Angeles, where it's the most competitive, right. aside from New York, the most competitive city in this country. Yeah. So there's, you have to When people, when you see all these Hollywood people, all these famous pop, especially if it's mainstream, right? And dami din an mang the mangyan pare, and that they had to eat dirt so many times to humble themselves, unless you were lucky, unless you were, <laughs> you know, unless you were fucking molested by Harvey <laughs> Weinstein pare, you had to fucking of course do it yourself. Yeah, you, know, you had to work hard. So, you know. It's like that. So you so that's the struggle if you want to make it here in in America. And that's why when you make it in America, it's fucking you everywhere, make it yeah. everywhere, the whole world, but ang problema lang, ang problema lang pag inasahan ka ng buong banda. Mm. Ubos na yung energy mo and din lang maintindihan ba't hindi ka na umaabante. 'Di ba? So sa melodies, paano mo sinabi sa sarili mo na, you know what, guys? Tayo ang magtatrabaho rito. This, uh, the burden will not be on me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I said, yeah. Oh, you said that verbally talaga? Yeah, when, when we were first formed, I go, if I'm going to do this, I can't be the one to, you know. Um, I'm going to just play drums. That's what I said at the beginning. Of course, well, Everybody. things evolve. Oh, I don't want to ease. <laughs> <laughs> things ev- but things evolve, you know. The situation yeah. evolves and... But it's still, it's still. Uh, it's like I'm not the only one looking Correct. for gigs, you know. Yeah. Everyone else is open and saying, "Hey, I have a band. If you have a gig, call us." I'm not the only one. But ang sarap ng tatlo kayo nagmamaneho, because you know that <laughs> mel- diba, melody can drive it. Eh. Pagod ka yeah, na, yeah, yeah, na ako. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And si Robin, po siya kaya gagan yung ganon lang kahit in love yun. Pag sinabi niya, <laughs> <laughs> pag sinabi, so yeah, ako na magdrive. Yeah, no, yeah, that's true. Diba? That's e- true. Everybody yeah. can drive, and that's important. Eh. And um, 
like I said, I don't I don't want to be in a band with where I have to nurture my bandmates mm. because then I'm not going to get that. You're not compatible in that way. Ay, hindi lang yon. Because mo. because I'm here and this person's yeah. here, then wala, you have to wait for them to go up your level so that you can really you know. Alam mo ka ano pa magsasuffer? Mm. You're playing because instead of yeah, 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 yeah. focusing on beats you want to make your your brain is now looking at yeah you know and yeah i know that so <laughs> simple mo na lang yung ginagawa mo <laughs> para tutukan mo yung oh di ba ang, ang hirap ng ganun so ano advice mo sa mga sa mga nag nagba band leader this episode is brought to you by aba e services the band leader. Kasi yun yun eh, di ba? But if you want to Because be dati, a... time out. Uh. Dati, impress na impress ako. Hanggang yun naman eh. Pero, oh my God, before the, before there was social media management, you were doing that for three-headed dogs. You were all over the internet. Yeah. Pati yung, pati yung marketing, imaging, lahat. Ikaw lahat yun eh. Yeah. And then, yeah, just, yeah. Wala. Biglang pagod na. Yeah, it's, it's tiring, man. Especially that, the marketing yeah, yun, side. Yeah, yun. Let's talk about that. Ooh. Would you advise that to band members who you want know, to be it's like this if you're in a band especially if you're in a young band if there are any young band members there take advantage of your other friends uh, because you're not gonna have these friends forever right you know explain what I mean? because you're still young right you're still like that wala pang asawa yung mga yan wala pang asawa wala pang mga girlfriend some maybe have girlfriends but they're not serious yet yeah but eventually after five years that's gonna change so when you're still a, a band that can uh, enlist your help, your help from your other friends who are not in the band, but to, but are it's like but um, they're like Tara, just, sama ako. Oh. The, the only the only thing that separates you is that they can't play. Right. But they're into it. Yes. So if this guy can do graphic design, bigay mo sa kanya. Bigay mo sa kanya. It's like you can hang out with us. You can be a roadie. But this is what you do for us. You know, it's a fair deal, man. Galeng, no? Yeah. De- or delegate. So, no? I mean, especially nowadays where there are people who have natural uh, talent for graphic design or even just social media, magaling yeah. sa social yeah. media, you know? Yeah. So, you, if you're young, you do that. And if you're not young, you learn how to do it and you do it. Now, balik you tayo know? sa ano, you're doing it for the art. Mm-hmm. Does that mean lumalabas pa rin ang pagiging producer mo na um, are you are you would you would you consider yourself still playing it safe because dati di ba alam mo ang alam mo kung anong tunog radyo alam mo mm. kung anong tunog na mm-hmm. magugustuhan ng tao or right now do you find yourself na medyo daring ka na you know what Melody Robin ito gawin natin dahil who cares I don't have to do it because like I said, I'm really lucky that Melody knows what she's doing. Robin knows what he's doing and I know what I'm doing. You know, and what I what I mean is is that we know what we're going to put on that song. So when we record this, we have this one song called um, Unbecoming. Okay. I think we played it here. And uh, it's one of the early songs. And on on live, if you're in re- rehearsal, it's just a normal rock song, medium tempo, no? It sounds a little bit 90s, you know? And, um, but now that we're recording it and then we're hearing it on speakers as a recorded version, then you have all these ideas. <laughs> and then, and then uh, Robin adds these guitars that he never did before right. he never played that thing before so when we heard the thing because he did a session separate from us he did one with yeah. Angelo um, separately puro siya lang. puro siya lang. so we didn't hear what he was doing I only heard it when I got a copy of the kung anong na record na and then when I heard his stuff I was like oh pare he was like yes that's the one yeah but you know tumpak diba yeah. like I didn't have to tell him I didn't have to produce anything he had, Yun ang masarap eh, di ba? Yes, that's what I mean. That's what I mean. I can't be in a band that I have to nurture. It has to be at the same musical level where we're all just running on vibe talaga. 
it's all vibe man because when robin heard the song you already knew okay i got i can do this this is cool for that part and it is so excited ka yeah <laughs> we're, we're all really we're we're excited man because the songs are coming out really uh well and and and, and the thing is the studio that we record in um it's really the the, the drum room is <laughs> nice. so nice and it's like they really tuned it you know the the, the paneling and all of that the drums sound so good in there oh so be drums na sa the studio yeah there's drums in you don't need to bring your own no 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 and you know they keep the drum set tuned yeah. finely tuned so really it sounds really good so it doesn't sound like a house recording which which the past albums have been yeah you know because that's what you can afford you know but uh like i said we were lucky to that we have a friend like angelo who gave us access to the studio and it sounds great man like laman ang ganda ng kantang noon yeah but that that version that's that's a house recording the, the, the laman now the, oh my god pare pag narinig mo yung laman yung, solid oh, solid pare sobrang solid it's like wow this is a new sound because it's a reggae <laughs> song no yeah but it's not really a reggae song and there's that thing in the in the in the middle part that she goes operatic and mm. becomes heavy and it's like wow this is it sounds really good so yeah and that's the thing we're excited and that's what i like it's like we're just excited to mere fact that these songs that we have songs to actually record right because you know i mean even though if melody is a a, a good songwriter there might come a time where it might stop yeah you know and then you won't know when it happens again so right now now she has a magic wand this big and it's like getting all this energy from the atmosphere is what i'm yeah experiencing you know so and then she came up and the thing is i i'll i'll text her and say ito yung idea ko pam 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 idea in my head the the, ne- the next day my full lyrics na siya pare and melody and and you know guitar chords i'm like uh you didn't have to do this <laughs> you know what i mean yeah so Kaling pare. I mean, I'm happy in that sense. Na, wow, it's like everyone is on the same wavelength. Na, they're they're into the music and they're and they're willing to share their talent to make this Hi, the music know. yeah come alive. You know, in, in that that's what I think that's that's good about this band. Is like it's it's that way. When you when okay the music. <clears throat> no, nagsimula ka. It wasn't really hard rock. It was pop and rock no nagda drums ka tapos no nag hysteria ka yun na papunta na ron and then dire diretso na sa wolf gang tapos mm-hmm. three headed dog ang melodies hindi siya hard rock it's more alternative pop rock pero nagi hip hop ka na rin yeah i i i did the session with the gusto ko yon yeah i enjoyed it yeah so late bloomer ka ganon <laughs> Well, I, I I like hip hop. It's just that I. They're just playing wise, because it's like. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Pucha, yeah, 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 yeah. buva yeah. bana tang wolf. Yeah. No, I mean I can play like that. I know it's you can. That, it's just that I opportunity. Don't have, yeah. Yeah. I don't I don't have any where to do it. You right. know. So I don't, I don't, like I was watching you play with um with these people, and you could swing. Mm-hmm. Okay. But what was going through your head when you were actually playing it? Nah. You're not playing it with a record. You're playing with a bunch of people. Dude, of I, I was people. just fucking tripping on the fact that I'm playing hip hop with an actual rapper. <laughs> <laughs> and a really good rapper. His name is Alfred Nomad. So Shout check him out, out, Alfred. Yeah, check him out on Spotify. I don't feeling. It was cool. It was cool because, and the thing is, I'm sumasabay ako sa sa click sa click because there's a beat DJ. Yeah, yeah. No, not the click, but but the track. But, okay, okay. You beat me, small. So, in my headphones, it's all loud, and yeah. I'm engulfed in music, pare. So, sarap, man. <laughs> sarap ng, and you know, it's it's it was just like I'm playing along, right? So it wasn't a click track. It wasn't an empty click, 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 click. It was the actual music. I was just playing along with the music. It's great. If the, if we were back in the '90s, 
And one of the rappers back then, whether it was Andrew E. or Francis Magalona, said, can you play for us? Back then? Would you? I wouldn't know how. It wasn't in my arsenal yet. Because I really, it was only when I came to the States that I really, maybe maybe a few years before I left, mm. that's when I really opened myself to other music. So you had to allow yourself to immerse yourself yeah in other genre pala yeah and and it was and i think that that was the most exciting time in my musical discovery life because once i said i'm gonna start listening to fiona apple i'm gonna start <laughs> listening to ben harper and you know i don't care basta uh-huh. okay i'm cool and ch- basta hindi badui i'm good man and my whole world just like Fiona Apple pala. I know. Putang ina pa. Pero may kinalaman ba yan sa... Pero, but the thing was, Fiona Apple was already like five years into yeah, it. Two yeah, albums yeah. into it. I was so late. And, and, ang tanong, ang tanong dyan is, kaya ka ba late? Because you were surrounded with people who wouldn't listen to that type of music. Yeah, yeah. Wolfgang so, Razorback. We were all immersed in hard rock and, yes, and metal. Yes. And then... So, patago mo pa papakinggan mo. No, I mean, I mean, sa, n- not even patago. I mean, talagang wala. Wala sa radar. It was all just MTV to me. You know, kasi it was, yeah. it was MTV, you know? And, um, and then every now and then, like Lenny Kravitz, uh-huh. syempre, so, so, uh, oh. rocker. So, yeah, man. And then the Black Rose, cool. But then you had like people like Sarah McLaughlin and, and stuff like that. I, I didn't listen to that at all. And then when I opened myself up to that, then I started listening to Fiona Apple, Nora Jones, like the first album of Nora Jones, amazing. So stuff like that. And then, right. um, yeah, when, when I just opened my mind and my heart to other music other than metal and hard rock, it was amazing. Okay. Style of playing. Grabe no, feel ko ngayon lang, ngayon lang, ngayon lang ba kami nag-drum talk talaga ng ganito? Oo no, ngayon lang talaga nag-drum talk. May nakausap akong drummer. Napakagaling ng drummer. Um, si JB Ramos. Magaling mm-hmm. na drummer. If you close your eyes, he really, he really sounds good. No? Local drummer yan. When you open your eyes, Boring. And and mm. I've I'm the reason why I'm the reason why I'm calling him out is because I already told it to his face. Okay, good. <laughs> and so <laughs> like, I'm like I'm like awkward him like what the fuck? Can you pang ayun yun na? Oh, we didn't chunda ko. Hi, JB. So and sinag ko sa kanya, you're very good, but the way you play is uninspiring mm-hmm. because parang ay mo magulo yung buhok mo. <laughs> well, ikaw. You're not a Michael Alba. You and I are not even a JB Ramos or Rickson Ruiz. Yeah. Pero pucha, when we get behind the drum kit, yeah. we really kick all the drummers out. Diba? <laughs> Kumbaga, para, this is what we know. Yeah, of course. And we'll play it talaga like we mean it talaga. Yeah. Diba? I mean, why? Samo yeah. nakuha yun. Because ako alam ko kung saan ako nakuha yun. Eh. Pero I want to know, mm. samo nakuha yung, 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 hindi, angas ba ang tawag doon or... Spunk. I think that comes with. Uh, I was talking about this with a friend of mine. Um, time, no, out, time out, time oh. out, time out, time out. Because I go back to say, "I'm not a drummer." I'm not a drummer. 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 No, no, it's not. It's not. It's the energy that they feel that they're acknowledging. It's like you're all out. Talk to talk to the young drummers, please. <laughs> well, I can only speak for myself. And but then, but the other side, where, where you and I are oh, coming yeah, from, of yeah, course. Yeah, yeah. I think well for me that that spunk comes from when I was young. You know, like you 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 get you take piano lessons mm. you, you're sent to piano lessons yeah. you know but somehow i had talent 
on, on the piano. I could read notes. Yeah. And I played piano. And then I and, and it vo- evolved into the organ, the multi instrument thing. And that's I think how I got my thing, my independence. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, my practice. Right. Uh-huh. And then you have the two feet. Pa. Yeah. So w- piano lessons. If if you're in, in a school, you Green Hills, okay, Arambulo, okay, uh, Ariel, Ariel, Arambulo, yeah. yeah. That's where I, I I that's where I went there when I was a kid, fifth grade, and then yeah, I think grade five or four. So every every now and then you have a recital, right? Because you're you're always practicing and they're teaching you, so they have to show the results, and that's the recital. And Pari, the recital. I don't know if you've ever had a piano recital. I've seen piano recitals. When you're when you're fifth grade, when you're grade five, uh, you have to get out there and play your piece without the piece. Correct. Memory. Yeah. You have to memorize the piece. You have to go out there. And hindi ka lang pwedeng nakatayo doon, ay nakaupo ron. What do you mean? Like, no. hindi ka lang pwedeng stiff na stiff na tumutugtog. No, you're, yeah, no, well, I mean, it's up to you how yeah. you want to express yourself. But, but it's like you're, the audience is all the other parents of the, all the other performers. <clears throat> so you're performing into strangers yeah. and you're in fifth grade. <laughs> so you have to go out there, you have to bow, you have to see everyone looking at you, pare. And you bow, you do your thing. And that's like this, man. You, I remember you sit up straight and then you don't even put your hands right away. Your hands are in your lap. And then you go like this. Yeah, you're a keyboard player, man. You're a piano player. It's like that, man. And then, and you can't rush because they'll know you're rushing. You have to really, because that's what the teacher teaches you. They'll 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 teach you scales. Yen pangwar pump no, first ten minutes of the one hour, you do scales. And then she'll pick a piece for you. Oh, I think, ito yung piyesa mo para sa recital. Ito yung assignment mo until until the recital. And the recital to your graduation. After that, that recital, next level ka na. Ganon. Pwede ka na mag-organ. Ganon. So, I, you, from, from a young age, I was already in that mode that practice is, was, is gonna get you a good result when you get to the stage because you memorize everything. Kung confident ka, alam mo. And you, and then you get, oh, you have, you, you get over stage right because you have to get over stage right. Right. Because if you have stage right, you can't concentrate on the, on the piece. Pero Wolf, <coughs> ang, ang palo mo, maliban sa decidido, you know what that means, right? Like, all your palo is, is purposeful. Yeah. Diba? Yung visual, hindi mo nakakalimutan. Like, you you'd scream, your facial expression yeah. mo. Actually, guys, pag narinig siya nagre-recording, maingay po siya. Maingay po siya mag-drums. Hindi po yung drums ang maingay sa kanya, yung bibig po niya talaga ang, <laughs> ang maingay sa kanya. Pero, hindi alam na lahat na tawa yun. Kami ni JJ, tawa kami na tawa. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Wait to know, guys. Pag nilagyan nyo na microphone. Oh my God. In the, if, if, I mean, the, but, the, the, the original tapes of Wolfgang, the, they're gone already because they, they were taped over. But when you hear it and it's just the drums, you can hear my... Because <laughs> <laughs> I'm singing along yeah, to, yeah, the, yeah. To, the, to the music, you right. know, to the, to, the, to the vocals. Pero yun nga, yung hindi mo kinalimutan yung visual aspect of it yeah because because all the people that I looked up to at, at that time who I still look up to are very expressive musicians like Jimi Hendrix there you go John Bonham Stuart Copeland can we look at Stuart Copeland ang kulit <laughs> ang kulit niya di ba yeah. so like you know that's that's where it's like I my I we talked about this before but my three favorite drummers are John Bonham Stuart Copeland and Neil Peart yeah of Rush so what am I then yeah yeah oh yeah yeah there's one song pa nga he's it's like siya yung nagka-count off eh yeah yeah, be, I mean that's how you you have to feel the music. Pa. You, can't just be, you can't just yeah. be a robot. Eh. Ako naman sumisigaw ako. Yeah. 
Misal nag wow Gawa ka na Yeah yeah yeah, yeah. Nag- Nagugulat sila Parang ano nangyayari doon Sarap eh Di ba yeah. So I mean That's how Like Like I said You know The people that I look up to Angus Young Isa pa yan Oh my god They're all expressive people And that's And for, for like Freddie Mercury Yeah The way Talagang All out pare So This episode is brought to you by Leo Bato and Associates Ang realtor na pato That combined with When I was young I was doing the piano lessons And the organ I mean the recitals Of being in front of people And performing with Having no mistake Yeah Memorizing your 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 piece Yeah It just became Wolfgang Whatever band Because you have to memorize the piece Of course The, the song right And, But uh, memorizing is different from actually expressing no, it. Eh. Again, yeah, I know. I, you're no, just not, you're just not putting notes behind the drum. No, I think eh. the expressing came later. The the performing the the thing, I really didn't. I was grade five. I didn't know how to. You know, oh, correct. I didn't. I didn't know that. I, I didn't agree. know that feeling yet. Pero yung mga ibang professional na sila, they still sound like a robot. Because well, yeah, I mean, but, but well, yeah. hindi mo naman maturuan na. Dude, cool lang kasi expression. You know, I think it's because of the music that they listen to, that they gravitate to. It's that kind. Machine? Yeah, you know, because um, a lot of mainstream pop music, it's like that. It's tame. It's very produced. It's like when you, like a song, like let's like say from uh, <laughs> Brian McKnight. Yeah. You're not going to... You're not gonna hear any drum rolls. But da, da, do, 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 lang ganun. But still yung backbeat. Oh. Kaya nga. That's what I mean. Because you don't need anything but... Because once you start putting big drum rolls, yeah. the women are not gonna like that music yeah. anymore. <laughs> You're yeah. like, oh, <laughs> masyadong mga bigat na <laughs> you know? Yun, yun, yun pa. Yun. Pag-usapan natin yung disiplina mo. Because pati yung mga fill-ins mo may purpose. Pati yung... Pero usapan na natin ito. Inuulit ko lang. Dahil... Yeah. dahil uh, kami nga ni Michael Abad when we talk about drums. Si Michael kasi, ang style niya, planado lahat ng ano niya, ng parts niya. Mm. Yeah. Uh, ako yeah. para ako si Robin ko. Ano, papaluin ko ngayon. Hindi ko na alam kung yung ba napapaluin ko bukas. Mm. Ganyan, ganyan and all that stuff. And I don't write drum parts. Normally si JJ Buwan kami na magsusulat ng drum parts and then I'll just play whatever kung hindi obligado. But you, pamula yung kick-snare, kick-snare relationship and all that stuff. Ikaw ang nagsusulat nun eh. Yeah. Diba? That's my like, imagination. Like, babalik ako. When I, when I, when I covered the Halik ni Judas, mm. um, sabi ko, oh, okay to ha. As in, as in, no big fill-ins, yeah. pero from verse to chorus, ba't siya magkaiba yung ano nun? Umiiba yung palo. Umiiba yung palo. Mm. Yeah. That's all you need, man. I mean, that's the thing. And it comes out of necessity because I'm not a big role, role player. Uh-huh. I can't do single strokes. When I can't do double stroke rolls around the set. Right. Hell no. Even if my life depended on it, man. <laughs> Just, wala. I walk the plank and I mean the sharks. So ito Ganun mga, <laughs> ito mga, ano, ito mga, ito mga new musicians na to na, na naka-focus sa technique. Minsan nga, iniisip ko tayo dahil kapos tayo sa technique. All we had was what we had, right? Yeah. And we had to really run away with what we have had. You know, when when I, um, that's the thing that I I am very comfortable with what, with how I play, my style of playing is because it's my, it's my thing. Uh, like you said, everything is, pur- every hit is purposeful. Yeah. So when you know that about me, and you hear my my music, the music that I play on, mm-hmm. you'll know that every fucking hit yes. is meant. Yon! It's meant from, from uh, iba yon. you know, down in the depths. Yep. It's meant. It's not, uh, it's not, uh, it's not chamba. It's not chamba, man. It's, and that's where Neil Peart comes in, in my, in his influence for me, to me. Because every hit of Neil Peart is meant. Yeah. Kaya yung mga ibang drummer kaya lang mag shadow drums with him. Yeah. Because it's it's there. Yes. It's like classical music. Yes. You know. So in my own little way, I'm composing my own classical music 
my own composition of what the drums right. are going to sound like in that particular recording and then whatever comes out in the recording i'm just going to copy it live do you still do that now with the melodies oh much more that's all i do now is talagang when oh, when when kasi wala ka na nino nurture wala na. yeah because the songs there already all i have to think about is my part sarap no mm, sarap pare the freedom it's called that's freedom pare you like okay that's your idea right away that's why that's why we, and then we all feed off each other yeah it's like oh that's your idea you remember no <laughs> <laughs> Shout out Robin Yvera. <laughs> Please remember your licks, man. <laughs> um so yeah, I mean that's that's I've always been in bands and fortunately very fortunate that my bandmates were all like that. Right. Where mu- musically we were all in the same page somehow. And even with like three of the dog, you know, Danny, the yeah. bassist, yeah. he was a total stranger. I didn't know him before I met him. Now he's family. Now he's family. <laughs> <laughs> so obviously the energy was there. Yeah. It, it's very compatible to me and my family and whatever. You know, our energy is compatible with this. So, um, Galing, no? and with Dave, you know, his energy, yeah. we have compatible energies. And, So and and you know it's like a, it's like the Lakers now, pare. You know I don't really okay. follow the NBA anymore. No, but the La- Michael, but, but, the, but the Lakers, man. <laughs> this is my thing with the Lakers. I'm a LeBron. I love fucking LeBron. Okay. I'm a LeBron dude, pare. Wherever he goes, yeah. that's yeah. where Duka. I support. Yeah. Okay. So when he went to LA, it's like oh that's cool. You know I I, I I I'm not a Kobe fan. Rest in peace. That's why I stopped liking the Lakers because of Kobe and at that time Shaq. I didn't like Shaq at the time. I l- I love Shaq now because he's funny, man. He's crazy. But at that time when he was a Laker, I was like, oh, "Fuck these guys, man." But now it's like LeBron in the super team. Well, la pare. So it's bagget. Because walang eh hindi hindi sila. Lahat sila all star na. Oh nga, pero that doesn't mean shit, pare. Yes. If your energies are not compatible, that you can be the fucking It's like that's why the dream team original original dream team that's why they're so fucking high up because they were all compatible pare. Sila Jordan no. O sila Jordan, yeah. sila Magic, sila Kareem. Puta Do you agree yeah. Michael about sa sinasabi ni Wolf Emora? Agree. Uh, we can't hear diba? you. Agree. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> <laughs> And you know subsequent like you uh, dream teams they weren't, you know, they weren't as impressive. It's like when you saw Magic and, <clears throat> and Jordan and, oh and Kareem and, yeah. and Bird. Oh my God! In the same team. And tapos nag tapos nagbibigayan silang lahat. Yeah. Yung professional. More than professional, ba? No, more pa. Talagang respeto talaga. Oh. Si Charles Barkley was there too, right? All of them, pa. I mean, they're all gods in in basketball. These are fucking the 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 the, the titans of. Of basketball, pare, and they all in that that in that particular team. Who was that? David Robinson, pare, di ba? Patrick Ewing. Oh my God! Grave, no? They all. It was. They all meshed. So much for the NBA, magkakalab, magkakalaban sila. Pero pag pag dream team puja for America. Yeah, but but that but that's the that's the what, what that's why it was so special because. They were titans, but it worked. Yes. But like the Lakers, they're all they're all fucking titans too. Why is it not working in your opinion? Um, because their energies are not. They're just not working well, you know. It, they're just not compatible. That's all it is, man. Because they're all good. Okay. They're all good, man. But um, it's just like being in a band. You can yeah. put like let's say, what is your Uh, dream band. Gagawa super group. No? Super group, di ba? Ah. That's why super groups are very rare, pare. Because you have to have, the, uh, you have to be compatible with each other. Right. Kasi kahit tayong apat sa kwarto na to, we're at the top of our game. If we don't see where anyone's coming from, it's not gonna happen. 
No matter what. Diba? How big does respect play in a band setting? Oh, well, of course, you have to respect people as people to begin with. Okay, so, yeah. okay na yun, diba? So, baseline yun, right? Yeah. And then what? I think to show respect to your bandmates is that you have to know where, what your role is. Oof. I yeah. hope people are taking notes. <laughs> uh, oh my God, yes. You have to understand <laughs> and accept your role because you're part of a team. You know, it's a cliche. There's no I in team. Yeah. But there's, some, there's a reason for that cliche because it's true. You're part of a team, so you can't unless you you emerge as the the you know the main songwriter or whatever. Right. Para <laughs> LeBron Yeah, exactly. So now the other members they have to say, okay, we follow him. Let's go with this guy. Yeah. And that's why some members they break off because it's like I can't, you know. Di na matanggap. Yeah, oh. di na matanggap na ikaw yung ano yung kanta mo mas okay sa kanta ko. Correct. Di ba? Or, or you know something like that, but it it really you have to know your role and do your role as best as you can. Like if your role, like in, back to basketball, if you're the center, you don't bring the ball up the court, pare. <laughs> <laughs> you you go you are ahead. You wait for the ball to get yeah. there. Point guard brings up the ball. It's it's, it's exactly like a band. If you're on the drums. Worry about the drums. You know what I mean? It's yes. like worry about the drums first so that you have, so that you can say to other people, hey man. So, <laughs> ibig sabihin pala, <laughs> you know, tama ka, tama ka. So, ibig sabihin, okay. And, and um, alalayan mo ko rito. So, maganda yung sinasahin mo ng respect. Know your role. Mm-hmm. Would it be safe to say, ang Trust naman in a band setting is you are trusting that the other person will take his role seriously. No, fuck yeah. So you can take your role seriously. Yeah. Tama ba? Yeah. Oh, no. No, well, you're... you're you, Kasi... If you're taking your, soul, your role seriously, you expect everyone else to. That's respect eh. Yeah. Respect yeah. is taking yeah. your role seriously. Yeah. That's the respect you're showing to them. Trust is... Yeah, no, I, <laughs> I I trust that you're doing the same thing, man. Because I don't want to get into a, I don't want to get into an argument, pare. Correct, diba? Adi ba? Yeah. Put your trust and respect, yeah. no? Pare. And and when those are absent, that's when band members, team members, they clash. Actually, oh, kung si Mike, but kini kiling, but kini kiling kasi ko intriga yan, na. Sumo mo puri to, Michael Abad. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, and, and I'm not saying that because I'm wise or whatever. It's just, that's true experience. You learn it. Uh, you learn how to give and you learn how to take it. You learn how to take criticism. Yeah, you need trust and respect. Yeah, you have to, you know, all of those things. It's like you have to humble yourself because your role, that's your role. If you're not doing your role well, magsasabihan ka talaga. And you have to accept that because that's your humility. Yeah. That's the humility. Yeah. Diba? That's the respect. You have to give back yeah. respect. Okay, you're right, guys. I'm going to I'm gonna work on I'm it. I'm going to work on it. It's happened to me back in Wolfgang. So I had to take lessons with June Re- Regalado. Mm-hmm. <coughs> and those lessons, I mean, I was playing this way. After those lessons, I was like, I want to do that. You know, pero gusapa din namin ni Raymond Marasigan yon mm. because talaga pinul out kami ni ano ni Tito Jun dahil you guys are doing it wrong mm. yeah well he didn't say that to me but the way he did it was sige nga what's your June regalado story my June, reg- June regalado st- uh, story um, so you went to ano better living Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah. His drum room. Uh-huh. Yeah. The, with the red carpet. With the red carpet. <laughs> that smells like cigarettes. Yeah. <laughs> okay, go, go, go. So the first lesson was he goes, Oh, upuga, and then you just play. Just play whatever. Just play you. Do you. 
to me trying to be impressed. trying to impress, right? <laughs> St- I'm still in my 20s, you know, still. <laughs> so I play everything. Your wo- loud. Your, your wolf my, my, my wolf, my wolf style, whatever. But <laughs> being all noisy on the cymbals. And he goes, okay. okay. Then he goes, oh, I'm the man. So he sits down and he plays what I was playing. The same. It's like if I closed my eyes, I was like, oh, shit, he's, that's yeah. me. Yeah. And the, 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 the thing is, I didn't like it. <laughs> that's that's the thing I didn't like what because he was mimicking what I was playing to the note to the volume of he was hitting the cymbals as loud as I was and I've never known Junior Regulado to play like that yeah. play loud you know yeah. but he was playing like me full volume mimicked everything that I was doing everything and i was like is that how i sound i suck <laughs> that's my reaction pare i was like i suck i suck teach me your ways ben kanu obi wan diba ganun pare ganun ganun yun that's how that's how i started with june it's like teach me obi wan because i suck alam mo ang magaling kay ang magaling kay tita june alam niya kung paano kanya susundutin para mag-open up. Yes, that's the one. Because if he said, Ganto yan. Eh, because if, because if he was lazy and just yeah. said, oh, I'll do this and do that, then pff, I wouldn't have any purpose. Right. So he gave me a purpose. I remember this now. He goes, he, he, and after he played, he stops. And then um, he looks at me. He goes like, Ganyan ka. <laughs> gusto mo gusto mo ganyan or gusto mo bu- iba? Sabi ko. That's when he said teach me your ways. That's what he said talaga. Do you want to pl- you want to stay like this because this is what you sound like? Or do you want to change? I go I want to change, man. And I changed. I did change. That's when I was so conscious already of my That's when it started na okay. I was already conscious of what I wanted out of the drums, not to just play loud or whatever to fill the to fill the music or what to fill the room with music, but to really orchestrate drums right. for whatever music I'm playing in, and to think of it not just being a drummer, not just a yeah. in the background, but at uh, again by purpose, eh, diba? Yeah, it's like a songwriter. You're a co-songwriter because you're using the drums as a, not a, not as a background instrument, but part of the music, right? You know, and 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 like I said, like Neil Peart, Stuart Copeland, and John Bonham. If you listen to all their the way they play on their music, it's orchestration. Okay. If you listen to like let's say. Um, Because we're used to like Stuart Copeland playing like rock the rock songs like uh-huh. Synchronicity yeah. 2 and Every Breath You Take. You know? But if you listen to King of Pain, oh, yeah. the drums on that, yeah. the drums on um, Spirits in the Material yeah. World. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know, do, do, do. you know yeah. talagang yung mga dun, 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 dun. halos walang drums. Pare. Yes. It's all yes. orchestration, man. Mm-hmm. So, That's where I started to think like that instead of just being a basher. So it opened your ears. You it created a sense of awareness. Sa lahat, tama? Yeah, super, super awareness. As in, every single drum is like, oh, every single drum is important now to me. Grabe you know, no. alam ba? He works on guys. If you can take lessons with um, Mr. Jun Regalado, please do. Yes. Because na hindi ko makalimutan yan. Intro voice was at, at the top of its game. Tapos sabi niya, drum lessons ka. So Sunday, I I hindi ko makalimutan yan. Sunday punta ako ron. Alam mo yung may yabang ka sa katawan na kahit ba si Jun Regalado ka, ako si Paco, Aras Paco Chaga, whatever that meant and all that. Pag upo ko doon, nandun kami sa, sa, sa sala niya. Easy with the Yossi. <laughs> Di ba? Yeah. Naging Yossi ka pa, Paco Yossi ka. <laughs> Yossi kami yung dalawa, right? I hope he doesn't smoke anymore, man. Me too. <laughs> But it was so funny because 
Nag-iyosi lang siya. Tapos nagmumuni-muni kami ng career niya. Mm. And I was just looking at him in my head. I was outgoing. When are we going to play the drums? Yeah, yes. <laughs> yes. Diba? Yes, parang, yes. Parang po siya, this is all talk. Yeah. All yeah, talk. Yeah. When are we playing the drums? Ganon. And then, sa mga tingin na yung oras, po siya mag-iisang oras na ako. Ah, oh, oh, oh. Ganun. <laughs> Yeah, hey, I remember. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Diba, yeah. hindi na ako nagtatanong yes, dahil parang, yes. come on, come on, yeah. wrap it up, wrap it up, yeah, pag yeah, pa yeah. tayo, ano oras na. Yeah. Tapos mo sabi niya, oh, Sunday ulit. This episode is brought to you by ABBA E-Services. Oh, yeah, ganun lang. Sa akin, <laughs> Sunday ulit. Sa- Sunday, Sunday ulit. Hindi <laughs> ka pumalo. And you know what, ngayon, looking back in hindsight, mm. ang tinuturo niya sa akin was to listen. Ah. Because mm. ang, ang take away ko after play, after learning from the master is no matter how loud or how soft I want to play, I need to listen mm-hmm. to what's going on. Yeah. And not make it about me. Yes, it's exactly, yeah. Because, yeah. because the less you make it about you, yeah. the more ka mapapansin ng... Yeah. Grabe yung mga lessons na napulot natin yeah. sa kanya. No? Yeah, grabe. It's not it's it's very unconventional. How we how we teach yeah, it. Para talaga siyang OB1. My god. Yeah, pare. Mino I was like, ka. <laughs> <laughs> Ibang klase Ibang si Jun. Klase siya. Tito Jun, I love you. Yeah, man. Iba. He really, man. I mean, I can I can tell. I can even conjure up the um, the feeling of of changing my style because it was I, I don't know how many 10 lessons I think or 8 8 yeah. to 10 or whatever. And you know, gagawin niya. Oh, ito gawin mo ah. Ito gawin mo. Hi hat ka lang ngyan. Yeah. Hi hat ka lang ngyan. Mga uh, five minutes ganyan ka lang. Pinasod ba sa yung akin? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You be metro. Yeah, yeah. Oh, metro no. Yeah, the metro no. <laughs> That's when you when you're starting to pag lumalay lay ka na, stop. Yes. And then start yeah, again. Yeah. You know. So there. And then he'll step outside in, yeah. the, in the patio and just and then babalik ang kanya. Then babalik ang kanya after about two cigarettes, di ba? No, oh, and then he'll just open the door. Oh, okay lang, okay lang. Exactly. Okay, exacto, exacto. <laughs> yung sa akin, yung second lesson ko, pinasuot sa akin yun, walang drumsticks, pinanood sa akin si Bernard Purdy, mm. kasi di ba yung drums, tapos sa harap ang TV, eh, yeah, 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 yeah. May yeah, TV. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Alam drumsticks pero naka-on yung metronome. So, naga- lumalabas siya pagka ADHD ko, nagagaganon ganun lang. Antay ko raw siya. O oh, sige. Yeah. Parang, parang nauuto ako dito. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Makikita mo siya eh. Mababa ulit sa baba. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. And then go back out to see Ozzy ulit. Tapos, time now. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Yes. And he would always stop on time, no? Yeah. Like, we gonna. <laughs> <laughs> it's really unconventional, but oh my God. And then, and then single stroke. Like, oh, yes. single stroke ka lang dyan. What a blessing, no? Grabe, man. It talagang, and the, but the important thing was that he didn't make you feel stupid. Yeah. He didn't, he didn't make you feel like you were uh, not a good drummer. You know what he made you realize? That you had so much. He be, he won't let you feel stupid, mm-hmm. but he'll make you realize what's out there. Yeah, what you can do. What you can do. What you uh, the possibilities of you. Mm-hmm. Yeah, man. I mean, that's why now I'm like this. That's why I play because of that. That's the moment, <laughs> right? That I really uh, shifted my mentality about playing drums. And yeah, amazing grabe, June Regalado. Yeah, he's still. He still plays. He still plays. He still gives lessons. Yep. Same drum set. Yep. Same red carpet. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, take the it, take best. it, take it, take yeah. it. Yeah. So, ngayon, knowing what you know now, yung wisdom, nasa 50 anos na tayo, tumapboard na tayo sa youth natin and all that. What's next? Well, the music of the melodies is next. It's really, I mean, 
I mean, thinking about it right now, it's like I'm getting excited. Which is it's, nice. It's though. exciting, yeah, because it's nice to. It's like play doh when you're a kid, and then or Lego. You, you know, because there's some kids that are really good at Lego. Yeah. You know, you're just there. It's like you look at, you see it. And you're like, you can already see the finished product. Para ka bumabata ulit. Oh man, I mean, that's, I think that's the fountain of youth. If you're an artist, you always have to be interested and be open, open-minded, open-hearted yeah. to anything. You know. Now, ikaw, um, I I know that you're kind of pragmatic. Paano pag kasi ang masakit is excited ka sa sa melodies. What if biglang eto na naman sabi ni Melody na focus mo na ako sa mga bata and then itong si Robin biglang nag-asawa at lumipat na sa Chicago and <laughs> ano na naman na mara- I mean well I mean that's why kasi kasi naalala ko sorry ah naalala yeah. ko si Raymond na ang dami mo nang in-invest emotionally yeah, yeah, yeah. and all that and yeah. when you when you're in a commitment of a, with a band you're all out ka dun eh mm. so I'm looking at you right now I don't know if I should be scared or excited kaya tinanong ko mm. how do you feel diba so Hypothetically, pag nangyari yun, are you ready for whatever? Pragmatic pa rin ba ang approach mo? Or will it hurt you? Well, it won't really hurt me because I'm, like I said, I've, I, um, I've, I've accepted the fact that I'm just a conduit. Okay. Is that part of the humility? Yeah, no? Yeah. I'm, I'm open. I'm just being open. It, the, 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 yung agwat between three headed dog and melodies is far yeah. it's a long time akala mo nga retired ka na eh yeah exactly you know but then somehow something happens boom and then you meet people or re-meet people yep and then you're like oh may ganun ka oh my god okay yan pare you know it's like it and it could have been anyone else De. But it just had to be these people. And then, for you, yeah. But yeah. K Melody, no. Uh, ba, Mike, K Melody, it, it wasn't going to be anyone else. It was actually you. Well, I don't know. Maybe, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah because... Yeah, because, yeah. because <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, because it's, it's, it works. Yeah. And I can't... That's, that's... You'd be... That's already hubris if you ignore that. It's like mayabang ka na kung hindi uh, mo gagawin yan, pare. If you have a songwriter there, and you're not gonna, you're not gonna pair up with the songwriter. Are you crazy? In your case, songwriters. Yeah, songwriters. Yeah, Robin's a songwriter too. He's a strong songwriter. Diba? You know, how could I not? How could I not um, be open to these people who I really don't know? They're not. We're not. We have no. Uh, We have no history prior to the melodies. Jaka naman magaling eh. Mm, yeah. Hanging out with people na wala kang history, making making something out of nothing. Yeah, well, magaling. yeah, that's that's when I step out of my comfort zone. That's not my comfort zone. I don't really go out of my way to meet new people. But I am open enough that when they 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 come my way and it's a good vibe game. I don't I don't close. Uh, like, it's like, oh, this person's cool. It doesn't have to be a musician or whatever. They're just cool. I mean, there are people that I hang out with now I've never hung out with. They're like actually new people in my life. It's interesting to, right. to live like that, right? I mean, you have your old friends, but you don't have any more relationships with them other than they were. you're still friends. You had great experiences in the past. But you're not, you don't have any experiences together anymore. So, you, so what do you do with that? What do you mean? Yung mga may experience kayo in the past, wala na kayo experience ngayon. Do you put those people in the back burner or they're just there? Or? No, they're just there. Okay. You know, I mean, you see them on Facebook and And then Instagram. by the kayo, you pick up where you left off. Exactly. You know, the energy is there. That's what I mean. It's like... Alam mo, kahit tayo dalawa ganun eh. Yeah. Yeah, it's we, like that. we've known each other since we were kids. Nakanya kanya tayo ng landas. Yeah, talagang kanya kanya yeah. talaga ganon. I mean, we would and we would like. I don't know if you remember this. We happened to be on the same love bus together. Yeah, sa New Manila yeah. going to Makati. Yes. Yeah, 
I mean, <laughs> before that, when did we when did we talk? No. <laughs> After that, when did we talk again? I don't know. Diba? But not the next day. Right. Ganon. But somehow, to me, you're Paco. Yeah. And to you, I'm Leslie. Loko, you know? may... Ganon. Hindi ako, hindi ako nagbibiro. May, may, may... Guys, pag nahanap ko lang talaga yung grade school picture nito eh. <laughs> Kasi gusto sa atin dati yun eh, di ba? Yeah. Yung Bob's picture natin, na uh, firma natin. Yeah. See you next year. Yeah, see you next year. <laughs> Di ba yung picture namin, dedication sa likod. Yeah. Galing, no? Yeah, so, I mean, it's like that. And, I mean, I mean, I guess that's how you go through life. You just go where your life takes you and then you have to be open enough so that people who are compatible with your energy, you can go along with them. Because why not? The more people that you know, the better. Yeah. You don't have to be close. You don't have to be barcada. But you know out there, oh, there's this person out there. When I see them again, it's going to be cool. Ganon, right? You're, you're, you're very outspoken, yet you're also respectful. Mm-hmm. Okay. There are times na hindi tayo pareho ng pananaw, pero hindi tayo nagbabastusan dalawa. Mm. When, when do you get irritated with people? Because, ano ke, like for, ako, I know I respect you, and, and I respect your ideology, everything. Mm-hmm. Masaya ako, we get along sa maraming bagay, sa yeah. mga hindi tayo na, na, that we don't get along with. We don't talk about it. We don't it. talk about yeah. it, di ba? Yeah. Pero for someone na kasing pasensyoso mo, napipikon, napipikon ka rin eh. You walk out on, when do you walk out? Yung pala tanong ko sa'yo, when do you walk out on people? Oh man, oh yeah, there was the one time. <laughs> uh, yeah, I got so picon that I, I didn't walk out but I just had to separate myself because it was just too much for me. And the reason why I'm asking is mm. because other people are in toxic relationships whatever that yeah, yeah, means yeah, yeah, right yeah. hindi nila ma-detach yung sarili nila ah, well anong mindset doon well these days like i said i i i keep myself open but i've had enough experience to 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 um try my best to to keep my radar <laughs> open for the fucking fakes ah, you know ooh, for the or or yeah. the people who are not compatible and not waste my time or their time right that's my mindset i don't want to waste your time pare kung hindi tayo ano let's i want i don't want to waste your time pare i would rather waste my time with someone who's so again, compatible so again na naman yung respeto ang yeah. baseline was uh, mag, let's just respect each other's it's, time yeah it's like it's like uh best example is like the comment section on facebook oh my god yeah or on, or on twitter whatever I say my piece on ah. whatever I have to react to. And then I leave. That's it. And then I'll, I'll get a notification that someone replied to my comment. And then and then here comes the thing because you want to read. <laughs> you want to read the reply. Because you want to know. Because curiosity killed the cat. Yeah. Right? But the other side of me is like, if I fucking read this and I fucking get pick on or whatever, or, or it, it sparks something... Then it's gonna be a fucking rabbit hole. Yeah, yeah. And I don't want to do the fucking. So what do, you, what do you do? Do you want to be No, I don't. I I remove the notification so that I forget about it, and I forget about it, and that's it. And I think it's more than that. Ganon, eh, diba? Dude, I, it, I, it's post, a, post and forget all those fucking comments. Uh-huh. That's a fucking waste of time, man. It's a waste of if you're doing that, if you're doing that, if you spend your time in the comment section of Facebook, you're wasting your time. Respecto yung sarili mong oras. Exactly, yeah. pare. Do something more productive. Post <laughs> post something yourself instead of fucking Oh nga, no? That's another thing in social media. It's like when I post stuff. That's my personal thing. I'm not trying to put anybody down. If that expression, mo yun ni. And like, like our our uh, the Pinoy thing, it's like uh, niya, yeah. uh, bato bato sa langit. Tama mo magalit. Mag magalit. Uh-huh. Kasi that's my opinion. Eh. I'm not attacking you. That's the way yeah. I feel. Yeah. If it just happens to be you, <laughs> but you know it what? Wasn't I'm, my wasn't my uh, intent to, you know, disrespect naka, you. Ang nakakatuwa, no? 
we have to learn to accept other people's opinion. Mm. Ang sarap ng pakiramdam eh. Minsan, yeah. pag, pag na-detach mo na yung sarili mo ron, yung tipong, yeah. parang, and if you don't like that opinion, you just, go. how about this? Yeah. Minsan, dapat curious ka nga kung bakit yun yung opinion eh. And then maybe you should have an open mind. No, but I know, I know, I know, I, I, I know that part. That part I like. Diba? But once that I know, I, I find out the opinion of this person and it's like, <laughs> uh, I don't want to waste my time. Because, well, there you go. At least you know, ka. Yeah, that's the way I am. Because it's for me, it's a waste of time. It's a waste of energy. It's a waste of uh, brain cells. Talk to me about time <laughs> because I've wasted so much time. No, Ako, yeah, ko. for sure. Diba? On people, yeah. on things na hindi naman akin, yeah. right? Papano, how do you draw the line? Papano ka gumagawa ng boundary? Oh, I just don't give a shit, man. I, it's like it, going back to comment the comment section because that's the most basic, I think, nowadays. Because I know that it's not going to solve anything. It's like like one another rule that I have in in my life is like if I'm in a social setting and people start talking about politics, I don't want to talk about politics in a party. I want to talk about good things. Yeah. Because if you talk about politics, that's why I only keep my politics in social media because that's where I can ex- express right. myself. And that's your and page. I'm not, and I'm not trying to f- to start an argument. That's not my purpose for posting. Yeah. That's my feelings. Yeah. I don't want to argue with anyone. So you're wasting your time replying yeah. to that thing. And everyone's <laughs> entitled to, to yeah. feel what they and want then to the, the, I was. Uh, this is what I, I was going to say. It's like, I'll post something and then that's really whatever, polarizing or whatever. And then I get some negative opi- um, negative comments or whatever. I look at them like, it's like I don't because it's no use. It's like if you want to express that, put it, you have a wall. <laughs> put what you copy that one that you just type to 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 because you're angry at what I said, you know, your response is anger to me. Take that, copy it to your wall, and express yourself, man. That's what it's there for, pare. You're not on social media to react to somebody. Express yourself, man. Express yourself, and then stand by it. And, you know, I've lost a lot of fans on Facebook because of my posts, my polit- especially in my political posts. Especially now that I fully expressed my political, yeah. and that's going to end once the elections are over. No more colors for me, because whatever happens, whoever's up there, I can't change it. And you know what? <laughs> Para ano lang yan eh. Parang alam mo, you know what made me stop? Because I used to post also. You mm-hmm. know what made me stop? Uh, well, aside from JJ and Michael making me stop. Um, <laughs> na-realize ko sa sarili ko, wala naman pakialam sa akin itong mga taong... Exactly, pare. And you... Pero yes. uusapan natin eh. Di ba? Kung baga parang... Going back to what you're saying, ayan, waste sinabi ni Jay, you waste of your time. Di ba? Parang, oh my God. And then, dun, dun, dun lang ako nagkaroon ng enlightenment na, you know what? Not my business. May mga, may mga binabayaran niya na kumakampanya dyan sa mga yan. Yeah. Yeah. And, and to me, it's just like... Like this whole time, I really kept it to myself. It's only the the, the only this past week yeah. that I'm really expressing my, my what side I'm on. Right. And I planned that. It's like I'm not gonna say something until the last the, minute. Until the last minute because I don't because then everyone's gonna expect me to say something or 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 I might just go out of control and go overboard and every day posting and posting and posting correct, about correct. that. And I don't want to do that. Because I want my my wall to be a little diverse, and not all like that. Kung bakas sinabi mo na, oh, that's it. Yeah, that's how I do it. Right. That's how I do it, man. Whatever I post on Facebook or Instagram or whatever, my opinion, that's it. I'm not gonna reply to your thing, so don't waste your time. If you if kung baga, whatever you want to say to me, say it on your wall. Yeah. It's much more productive and it's not a waste of your time. Correct. Alam mo, people, people should learn to understand na yung pinus mo naman, hindi naman para sa kanya talaga yun. Yeah, it's mine. It's my... And you weren't really, you weren't really aiming it at 
a specific person. Well, it depends sometimes. Yeah, I mean, I, but but not a person, but but an idea, yeah, an or, idea or an or ideology, a, or, or or a person who is Correct. just like up there, right? Like, too far for me. Yes, you know, I have no connection whatsoever. So I have an opinion. That's Everybody's entitled. Yeah, 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 yo, that's my yeah. opinion, diba? If I didn't want to do that, I wouldn't be on Facebook. Correct. And there are people who are like that. There are people who are not on social media because that's not their thing. But somehow I like doing it because I get to express my frustration, I frustration, joy, love, whatever. You I get to express it on social media. This episode is brought to you by Leo Bato and Associates. Ang realtor na pato. Okay. It's a good tool for me, you know. So speaking of expression, joy, love, bakit hanggang ngayon ay mo mag-asawa ulit? <laughs> Alam mo, hindi tayo pupunta ron, ha? <laughs> I don't know, man. I still have, I don't know, man. I, I, in my mind, there's still a lot of things I want to do that I know that I can't do if I was married. married. And it would be very unfair for the other person. Would you ever get married? I don't think so. Because I was and right. I was married to the wrong person. Not because they were bad, Correct. but it was just... Again, you know, wrong energy. In the, wrong in the, energy. In compatible. Not, not compatible. Oh. Um, so, I don't know, man. I don't know. It's like... Uh, I don't know. Like marriage, right. Right. marriage right now, it's like these days, like marriage is like a contract. It, oh, like it's not... Ibahin ko lang yung tanong ko ha, para yeah. mas exciting. Mm. Dumating si Robin at saka si Melody. Mm. Ikaw na nagsabi, ang tanga-tanga mo na kung hindi mo pa aakapin tong dalawang to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Pa- Parang pang may dumating, hypothetical. Yeah, yeah, yeah. May dumating na babae. Oh, well, yeah, of course, yeah. It's no problem. It's like that, man. Okay. I'll fall in love like that. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah. <laughs> that's, it's a flaw at, at times. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, but that's how I am. That's why I... So, kung mag-open pa rin yung mind mo sa Of course, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Well, not marriage, but a partner. E, Someone paano, that I can feed off, you know. And e, paano pag sinabi ng uh, commitment? Ayan na. Oh, well, I mean, that's already <laughs> details na yan. But in general... Yeah, you're... you're I'm open. Okay. It's, it, it's like open. And then, you know, I find every now and then you'll feel it. But then you're like, well, <laughs> the situation is not. Uh, ideal. So you're like, okay, I don't wanna... Ang galing eh, no? Kaya ako nagagalingan sa'yo dahil you're a realist. Sometimes, ako kasi optimist eh. Mm-hmm. Part-time pragmatist. Mm-hmm. Ang dami frustrations pag optimist ka eh. Mm-hmm. Kasi hindi naman halos lahat ng naiisip mo mangyari eh. Yeah. Natutuloy eh, yeah. di ba? As a realist, Is it lonely? Depends. Depends on what you're looking for, man. If what are you looking if for? If you're looking for... No, it's like... It's like... If you're constantly looking for romance, you're going to be disappointed because romance doesn't really come. You know... Like, like that. So you're not looking for it? Okay. Yeah, it's like that. It's we're like talking I, about life in general. Ah, dahil, yeah, yeah. Dahil again, kanina we were talking about suicide nung bago tayo pumasok. Eh, mm. diba? Because yung, yung expectations not met pag, pag nag-compound. Oh, well, yan, I lower my expectations. You na nga eh. Yeah. Kaya you're a realist. Diba? That's why I lower my rec- <laughs> I lower my expectations so that when the, the, the expectation exceeds my expectation, uh-huh. then I'm It's like yeah, cool. Man. Hindi, that's fine. You but know. then, but then, when it doesn't happen, then uh, you know, it's 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 a it's all about experience, man. It's like when you don't want to feel heartbreak, then you try to avoid it as 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 productive as you can. I don't know. I don't know if that's the right word. It's like it's like uh, parang. The, the, It's not like before where you give your heart right away, everything right away, which I have done in the past. Yeah. Now it's more like the heart and the mind is there together. It's like the heart is like, okay, yung energy na to, pare. Okay to. And the mind is like, kailangan, kailangan, <laughs> yeah. kailangan sulit to, pare. 
sulitin mo to kung ito kung ito to sulit dapat so, nag-uusap na sila talaga ngayon heart and mind yeah yeah Yeah. Is it possible for people in their 20s to have their hearts and mind talking? No. Hindi, no? It's all heart, man. It's all heart. And it doesn't have to be about about romance. romance. Anything, yeah. Anything. That's why all of that's why everyone speak is that they're 20s. That's why NBA players, soccer players, they're all in their prime. All everyone. All across the board, people who are, you know it's in their 20s because it's all heart it's all yeah man drive it's all drive and then even musicians musicians are at their peak in their 20s you know stairway to heaven they were 22 when they they wrote that oh my Pare, god yeah. come on pati nga Beatles nung pinapanood ko yung documentary nila mm, parang get back. these guys were kids kids they were 27 in that get back yeah 27 pare. kids Parang edad lang ng anak ko yun eh. And they were and they were writing all these songs. I mean, di ba? So yep. it's all it's all heart. The mind, I guess the mind because I guess when the mind is the job of the producer. Mm. That's the mind because they have to harness the heart. Yeah, yeah the artist of the artist. Uh, it's like, "Oy, oy, sobra na 'yan." Yep. Sobra na. Magaling nga pero too much, too much, too much. Too much. much. Yeah. <laughs> That's yeah, part of yeah, yeah, no, no, it. Diba? That's what a producer does, right? Too much, too much. Or or too little. Yeah. More, 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 more. You want more. Whatever. That's the producer's job is to harness the artist's heart with their mind. Because if it's all heart, then shit, you'll have Picasso. Oh. You know? Basag na basag yun. Diba? Landing natin. Anong advice natin sa mga middle age people na nanonood. Ang bracket nga pala, ang demographics natin na nasa, nasa late 30s to early 50s ang mga nanonood ng Pacos. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, ang dami dyan, it's either jaded, takot, or marami rin masaya. But ang goal nga natin is to inspire and to inform eh. What can you advise to these people na napaso na, na takot na, na hanggang ngayon on the fence na lang at natutuwa na lang makinig sa kwento natin pero natatakot to take action for themselves. How can you, how can you, um, ad- what advice can you give them to take action? Shit, man. I mean, I'm the last person to get advice from in that. Impossible because again, ang simula nga ng conversation <laughs> well, I mean, natin was about your consistency. Right. Well, I mean, I think the most important thing is to know what you want When, and then when you find out that I like this, I like doing this, accept it. Accept who you are. I think it's the most important thing is to accept who you really are. Kung ano talaga ang gusto mo, if you like listening to Rick Astley, fuck. Then you like listening to Rick Astley, pare. Pakialam mo sa kanila. Yeah, pakialam mo sa kanila. Pakialam nila sa'yo, yes. pare. No, si Balasi, pare. Correct. Diba? Ang ina, ganun. If you're on the fence, you can't stay on the fence, pare. Nothing happens on the fence. Either go this way or that way. Choose and then go. And put everything there. But but you know, you have to like what you're doing. If you don't like what you're doing, that's that's really what I've learned so far. Is that if you're not enjoying what you're doing, again, back to the it's a waste of time. And time is <laughs> Time is so back. fast yeah. these days, pare. And you know, it's just too fast. It's too fast. Even, even in the Philippines, it's fast now. It's like the first time I came back from here. So six years ago, no, was here. Then I went back to the Philippines. During that time, you could still tell that time is slower there yeah. than here. The the the, the vibe, yeah, the vibe is a little more. Mm. It's still slow pace. Slow oh. pace. Even though traffic palagi, but it's still slower than here. Now, wala na. The last time I was there, four years, five years ago, it's the same. It's the same, the same anxiety, the same. Uh-huh. Parang the everybody same, wants to do a lot of things in a yes, short amount of time. Yes, I mean, it looks like it. Look, I mean, look at BGC. It looks like hmm. Manhattan already. Yep. Kasi, oh, I agree with you 100%. Kasi tayo sa atin nga galing yung manyana habit eh, di ba? Yeah. Bukas yeah. na yan, bukas na yan. Wala na yun. 
Wala na. Because of the call center thing. Correct. That Iba started with, Yeah, it's like you work late at night but you get paid good, better than being a bank teller or whatever. I don't know. But it all started with that, with alternative employments in the Philippines, di ba? Before, it's what? You become a bank teller, you become whatever, a bank manager, that's your... Yep. That's the... the Top of the, the food goal. chain, yeah, yeah. Yeah, top of the food chain. Now, you don't have to do be a bank manager to live in an apartment, you know, whatever, and, and support yourself. I know people in call centers that support themselves just being in the call center. So it's not like before. So, you know, it's not like before because 24 hours na yung Manila eh. No, but if you go to the, like, <laughs> the last time I went to Iloilo, that's my, my hometown. parents' hometown. My dad's hometown. Yun talaga. Slow pace. Slow pace pa rin. So it's like, ah, okay. At least meron pa na kahit na modern sila, their, 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 their vibe is still. Yeah. We're okay. We don't have to hurry <laughs> up, pare. It's gonna be a good day, so relax. Ganon. But in Manila, wala na. It's, when I went to, I mean, even the last time I was there, there was still, I think the fort was still there. The fort, the original yeah. fort. Now it's not because they put big buildings already. Oh, and hindi ko naabutan yun. So I just look at pictures. I'm like, putang ina mo kung Manhattan na tong BGC. Banana, no, pa. Yeah. Ay, grabe. I'm like, Wala na. There's no more laid-back vibe in Manila. It's just a 24-hour city, just like New York. It's it's more busy than LA, I think. Yeah. So, dapat ba sumabay ang tao sa agos ng society? Or should you walk at your own pace regardless of your age? Man, I think I would say discover your pace and then run with that. Because that's all you can do, Pat, is you. You can't. That's why there's that um, expression, keeping up with the Joneses. That's that's true, man. If you can't keep up with these people because they're richer than you, and you think that you can, you know, yeah, ikaw yung talo, because they're just being themselves. You're the one trying to be like them. No, be yourself, man, and be happy with yourself. But if you're if you're not happy, then if you want to improve, then improve. Get drums lessons like that. You know? Not, I mean, not literal drum lessons, but, you know, do, do something. something. Do oh. something that, that, will, that will spark you, you know, or to wake you up or something, man. And it's trial and error, man. If you start doing this to something new, like going to the gym, after a while, eh, you know, <laughs> I'm talking about myself. I used to go to the gym, no? And now I'm just happy with going for three mile walks. Right. I'm getting my exercise, my thing. I, I, and I don't like lifting weights anymore because lifting weights, you have to be consistent. Correct. If you if you stop lifting weights, you become small again. Yeah. So find your pace. Yeah, find your pace, what you're happy with. Especially nowadays, but everyone's anxious. There's so much anxiety happening. It's like, when I and like I'm on Instagram and my gosh, the pace of people influencers oh. every day, pare. They have to do this every and that. day. They have to do something different, something not different, but something new. Yes, from the day before, because the story is only 24 hours. So is it more preparation, no? Pare, I'm like these people better be enjoying what they're doing because if they're not, oh my god, they're suffering. <laughs> If they're not these people, these influencers, the the amount, Barry, the amount of work to to get that angle, yeah, to make you the most pretty girl in on Instagram, it's not you just don't snap it, no, you plan it out. In frustration, di ba? Pag nagtawa, pa, 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 yeah, pa. yeah, well, I'm pang it another take, yeah, yeah. It's not that simple, man. To be famous on Instagram, you have to put in the work to, so that you stand out from the crowd. Unless you have big boobs, <laughs> you know. Grabe, no? <laughs> Unless you're a, uh, a attractive woman, yeah, then that's easier, of course. You know, it's just just the way it is. But if you're like us, 
you have to <laughs> you have to really effort you have you know you have to enjoy what you're yeah. doing because so that's another thing kailangan in enjoy mo yung ginagawa mo mm. you have to walk at your own pace don't waste your time get off the fence kahit anong side pa yan just kahit get anong off. side just pick a side pare pick a side man because I'll have respect for someone who ha- who knows their side. Being on the fence, I'm like, being on the fence. That means you don't know what you want, man. It's like pick a side, man. If you want to be a Sith, then be a Sith. If you want to be a Jedi, be a Jedi. But you gotta pick a side, because the people who don't pick sides, they're the ones who get clobbered. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Wolf Hemora. <laughs> Thank you. Woo! Ucharagis ang meaty meaty nun, guys. Don't forget to subscribe to Wolf's channel. Lahat ng, lahat ng link kung saan nyo makikita si Wolf na sa description. And the melodies. And the melodies that support. Thank you, man. <laughs> <laughs>